Tonight, a police officer is off the job. The chief says that he pulled the gun on a young man who did not deserve it. And that man's mother watched in horror as all this happened. Our Glenn Counts is live in Rock Hill tonight. Glenn, the mother told you she is glad the chief made a quick decision to let this officer go. Well, yeah, the uh, department certainly didn't waste any time. This happened on Friday, and by Wednesday, that officer was gone. The uh, mother of the man he arrested literally believed that she was watching the final moments of her son's life. Cameron Kirby was one of the most active officers on the Rock Hill Force. He's pictured with his chief receiving an award for the number of drunk drivers he's busted. But tonight, sources tell us he's off the force. So he's very respectful. Never, I mean, never had a ticket, nothing. He this woman is talking about her 22-year-old son. We're not identifying them. She said last Friday he drove home to get lunch and pulled in the driveway when they say Kirby pulled in behind him for what was supposedly a seatbelt violation. She was on her porch and said her son got out of the car and that the officer immediately drew his gun. But I had to keep calm because I wanted to make sure my son was safe. And then also I was trying to talk to this cop, let him know what asking him what's going on is the gun necessary sources tell us the officer called in and claimed the young man was fighting and that there was a crowd gathering sources say supervisors checked kirby's body camera after questions were raised about the incident kirby was pulled off the street and fired civil rights leader john barnett and the mother met with the chief that the video is so damaging that he needed to you know fire him immediately. Um, this is the quickest I've ever seen. The mother says police immediately let her know that there was a problem with the arrest and while she doesn't have any hard feelings, both she and her son are traumatized. You know, I never had a gun pointed at me, so to actually see that gun pointed at my son and in my direction, um, it, it has affected both of us. Well, Rock Hill Police did put out a statement left late this afternoon uh, confirming the incident but not naming the officer or confirming that he'd been fired. As far as that young man is concerned, uh, he had been charged with disorderly conduct, but those charges have been dropped, and his family has been told his record will be expunged. Back to you. All right, our Glenn Counts reporting from Rock Hill. Thank you.